up with a Total Gym Boot Camp Blast Workout that'll leave your muscles feeling strong, solid, defined, and toned, ready for your summer physique body. This is a total body workout that'll challenge your muscles at any level. So you have the chance to increase your incline and change the tempo of your workouts, but you can challenge your body no matter what level you're at. To perform this boot camp, you will perform every exercise for 20 reps. Once you've gone through all of the exercises, take a one minute break, regroup, reset, recalibrate your machine so that you can challenge yourself more, and then aim to perform the circuit two to three times. If your time is limited, no worries. You can perform the entire boot camp once through, but increase your reps to 30. That way you'll be able to challenge yourself and get the most out of the workout. Once you are done, whether you're performing one and done set or you're doing two or more, you will move right into the core finisher to really blast out your abdominal muscles. Be sure to end with a cool down and stretch to recover your muscles as well. So let's get right into learning the exercises for this boot camp blast. For the setup, have your incline placed anywhere from a medium to a moderately high position with your cables attached as well as your squat stand. Take your cables into your hand, go straddle your glide board, sitting at the very bottom, and as you lie down, you're aiming your feet down towards the squat stand. So our first exercise is a jump, squat, and pull. So as we're doing this, I'm crunching up, I'm pulling my arms down. They can be out to the side, they can be parallel to each other, or the palms can face you. So it's really up to you, but I want you to really focus on getting a full range of motion here. Your next exercise, You'll hold it at the top, bring your knees into your chest, and you'll start to just go into a floating air bicycle crunch. So as I'm doing this, I'm bringing my shoulder to my opposite knee. I'm just holding the cables tight and close to my shoulders, keeping my core engaged, back is flat on the glide board at all times. Next, we move into cable pull-ups. So bring your body up carefully. Flip it around into a prone position so I anchor down with both cables in hand. Chest is at the top, crossing at the ankles, and I'm keeping my head pointing towards the vertical column. As I pull my arms towards my shoulders, you want to have a slight extension of your spine so that you're working your upper, middle, as well as lower back. Squeeze through your glutes as well, and you'll really start to feel your entire body as your arms do the work. From here, we go into tricep extension. So bring your arms in by your sides, keep your chest lifted slightly, and then extend the arms back to work through those triceps. Your wrists are strong, your shoulders are relaxed, your core is in tight, and you're really extending out long through the backs of the arms. Then we'll go into torso rotation. If you need to, you can lower your incline so it accommodates your strength. But for time and purposes, I'll keep mine a little bit higher on this one. So anchor down, come into a seated or kneeling position on your glide board. I'm holding onto the cable and I rotate and twist. So as I'm doing this, I'm not pulling with the arms. I'm rotating through my torso to keep everything moving in my upper body. Lower body is still. And of course, you'll do this exercise on both sides. Now, once you've gone through all of the exercises, you'll repeat it for as many rounds as you like, of course, taking a one minute break in between. And then once you have finished all of your sets and you are ready to be done with your workout, you'll go right into the core finisher. There's a couple different options that you can take. So make sure that you disconnect your cables and we'll do our first modified option, which is knees down. So from here, we take a kneeling position. We'll go right into our knee tucks with our knees down onto the glide board. So hands are on top of your squat stand. You extend your body out into a nice elongated position. Arms are straight. And we're just gonna tuck the knees in and extend them back out. So the only thing moving here is my knees and my torso, I should say, of my pelvis from my hips down to my knees. So I'm tucking under and pushing back. So you really wanna make sure you're activating your core. You can also take it into a lengthened position and do the same exercise. If you feel strong and stable in your shoulders. If that's too challenging or painful for your wrist, having your hands on your squat stand, just go ahead and remove it. And you'll place your hands onto the floor to do the same version of the exercise. So you'll tuck your toes, 
Keep your upper body solid. Keep your knees down for the first option, and you'll tuck your knees in and out. If you need a little bit more challenge, come into a plank position, and you'll tuck your knees in and out as well. So those are a few knee tuck variations that you can do to really challenge your core and really get the most out of your workout. And that completes all of the exercises in the Boot Camp Blast. Be sure to check out the blog to get all of the details. And if you haven't already, check out the other workouts to get you summer ready, because there's nothing better than feeling hot in your summer body.